What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, Jay Cinco on Watts, California. When I was five, I saw my cousin die in front of me. Y'all, listen, I ain't gonna lie. I'm only here for the uh, the conversation of what happened with him in Brooklyn. They asked him, you know, how you feel about basically she helped you start YouTube, and now y'all not together. So, get it. so what was your reaction once you broke up with this girl? You know what I'm saying? You know, I started yeah. YouTube because of her and everything. Yeah. So, what, what was it like after the breakup? Um, shit. It's, that's the, that'd be the hardest part because your relationship is all over the internet. You feel me? Like that's that's the hard part. But um, it, it fucked it up. It, it fucks you up for sure because it's like, you know, it's the content you make. You know what I'm saying? And, and me, already, if you already coming on some relationship shit, it's like when y'all break up, it's like what you gonna do? Go film with a girl? You feel what I'm saying? It's, then it's like what if y'all get back? You know? Because it's like it's the internet, but it's, you still got a real life. You got to balance out. You know what I'm saying? So it fucks it up. But it's like. You gotta just, you gotta do what you gotta do. Me personally, every time we broke up, I um, I always just kept it simple. I always kept it vlogs, even if my channel was doing bad. You feel me? Just because of the respect I got for her, you feel me? I'ma just keep it, you know, keep it simple. I ain't really doing nothing too crazy. And if I did, I was clickbaiting it. You feel me? It wasn't like that. But um, <clears throat> the way our our situation is now, though, like you know, that shit completely over with. So it's like uh, now I'm gonna have to I was get wondering, I was wondering what he was gonna say about that. Into that shit, like you know, or whatever type of content, you know, I feel like doing but now I'm, I'm more free I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna start looking into doing like other type of content for sure. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. no more relationship YouTube yeah that's yeah that's shit on um, that whole situation is just you feel me I feel that yeah. how's your relationship status now you looking for another girl looking for another girl nah I ain't looking for no girl right now yeah. I'm just chilling I'm you know I'm vibing of course you feel me like I'll vibe with a female but I'm I don't I don't think I'll be in a relationship for like a while you feel me because that shit fuck. ain't no need brother you know what I'm saying? Chill. Do you get the hus? You know what I'm saying? Smash the hus. You know how you been? Fuck the nigga whole brain up. You feel me? I feel you. Yeah. After dealing with the loss of the relationship yeah. and dealing with goddamn love and all that, yeah. talk about the single heartbeat. Yeah. Um, that's a new song we just dropped. Um, it's under. We dropped a two pack. It's called uh, Free Agent. You feel me? Um, it's it got a song heartbeat on there. A song Honey K. But heartbeat. Is about, it's just about like, it's kind of like when the song is about like me experiencing like the end of the breakup, you feel me? As far as like, you know, you kind of always, like at first you had think like, you know, you always think like y'all gonna get back and shit, but as as time go or as situations pass, it's like, I understood like, you know, shit no going, it's, it's no going back to it, you feel me? Just because of certain things people did, you feel me? Like, I don't, I just, I just felt like I gotta close the door. Like that song is kind of like explaining how I'm closing the door on her. And you know, just not allowing her back in my in my life. You feel me? I just trying to find like you know happiness and shit. That's kind of what the song is about. Just, I feel you. I yeah. feel you. So what's okay. up with the dissing and honey cake? You said the what? Ah, <laughs> you said the you said what? You said the dissing and honey cake, man. Nah, man. Um, it's this nigga, man. He he, he be he, he be on some clown shit. He just you know, but had to throw him in there. So you know, he he deserve it. You know what I'm saying? He deserved. See, that that lets it be known that he started it. This nigga right here started that. That little light, you know, you gotta, you got sometimes you gotta feed, you know what I'm saying, niggas back, you know? No, I feel that. Yeah. So what else you working on right now? Uh, shit right now, we just, we just, we just working in the studio right now, trying to, um. Do y'all think Justin started it? <laughs> like, obviously, uh, I know what Brooklyn did, but what I mean is calling out Delane and all the other guys. Y'all think that Justin started it? Just keep I do. elevating the sound, you feel me, focus on the music and, you know, even with the heart, like the heartbreak I'm going through right now, you know, kind of just putting that shit all in the music, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, then we're going to focus on, on like, as far as like marketing and shit. But right now we just, we just worry about just working, you feel me? Just making sure the music, you know, does what it does and gives off what it gives off. So we, t we talking about dropping a little project. In like I was going to say, months. what's up with the project? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to drop a project in like, like, what you think? Like, like two months. We're going to drop a project in like two months. It's going to be some, it's going to be, it's definitely going to be some shit though. You feel me? It's going to be. It's gonna showcase the versatility of a nigga, cause you know a nigga do, do it all for real. everything. No, that's real. For sure. Besides music, what else would you say you're working he on? He did, but him and the What's some of the other business revenues said. you want to dive into? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Shit. Right now, I'm working on my clothing brand. Right now, you feel me? That's some. I feel like everybody. So Delane, start, not Dylan. Especially anybody right? like an influencer, or just any with any type of. With any type of recognition, I was calling that like, nigga like, Delaney. The is always good, cause Ugh. you know you call, like you just 
if you start it, it's like somebody gonna fuck with you, you feel me? Or some niggas just gonna buy it just because they fuck with you. So it's like, you can easily just be getting that little money on the side. But I'm trying to start my, I'm trying to start my clothing brand, Dash in the Works. Um, shit, me and my brother was talking about going half on a truck, so we trying to get into all that shit. So we, we I'm, start, I'm just now starting to kind of dive into it. At first I was more on stacking, you feel me? But now that I'm kind of already doing good for myself, I could like start to invest, you feel me? I just want to kind of invest as I got my money, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm kind of barely now looking into all that shit. No, I feel kinda you, I feel Kind of barely. You, I feel you. Any last words and shout outs? <laughs> squeaky uh, make squeak, um, squeak, squeak. Shit, shout out to Squeaky make squeak. Shout out to my mama, you feel me? Shit. You know, shout out to my mom. She, you know, she the reason a nigga even, you know, keep kept going with this shit, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to my mom and my brother and sister. You feel me? Uh shout out to the the homies DI, you feel me? D three, y'all go fuck with D three. And shout out to V, you feel me? But and Dom, shout out to Dom for sure and Carl. Nah, for sure. Jay Cinco, we appreciate having you on the porch with us today, gang. Nah, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate Real that. Spill. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, yeah, I did watch the beginning um, because I wanted to, you know, like, know who he is because I obviously I only know what happened. I don't know who he is and what he represents, but his story is kind of crazy um, in a good way, though. You know what I'm saying? He taking care of his family, his moms and shit, um, his brother and sister. And it seemed like that's all he got. Lost his best friend, you know, and um, he was making money before he got with Brooklyn. So he was not broke, you know, um, which is a good thing. But now, I, I you know what? I, I can't even say what he was doing was illegal because I don't know. I think I've already said that, but I take it back. I don't know if it was illegal or not, but... um her mom was saying like he has to do YouTube. So in order for this to work, and I don't know if that was to take that 20%, I don't know what was going on, but, um, yeah, I think his story is pretty dope and I'm happy. They not together no more, honestly, because the breaking up was just kind of crazy. Every time they broke up, it was always something, always something. Um, so, you know, it's good when young people have freedom and they feel like they can't have freedom is the craziest thing in the world. Like young people, you take your own freedom away when you get with somebody and take things all serious. And just like uh, with Summer Walker, uh, what's his name? Meech. I think Meech dodged the bullet more than she did because she got kids and, you know, she suddenly outside. It's a lot. He would have had to take very seriously when. She already got a baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? She got money. That's a lot, y'all. It's just a lot when you're young. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, how y'all feel about the whole situation and with him. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.